man, breaking down Diego Sanchez. Just so exciting, man. Just like these guys said, one of the most exciting fighters ever. He's a savage! Like my buddy Joe Rogan says, the best in the business. And why I look at this guy. Every time he fights, we have to watch him. There's something unique about him. He's also a little crazy, right, Diego? Yes! He's a little nuts, but he is so fun to watch. He's ferocious. He seems to fight with an animal instinct. He is so uncivilized in the way he expresses himself in combat. But how do you break that down? How can I break down Diego Sanchez? How can we look into him? Man, break down sometimes, you use metrics, you use numbers, you analyze the data. You can't do that here. Sometimes you compare attributes. Sometimes you look at the way that they move and the way they express themselves. And sometimes it's about the beauty and elegance of technique. But when it comes to Diego Sanchez, man, that's not what we're looking at. We need to use our words. We need to use language, we need to use verbiage and really figure out what it is that makes him unique. And for my money, what makes him unique is his gameness. In the history of fighting, the gamest man who has ever fought, he defines gameness. But what's the true definition of gameness? It's a quality of fighting dogs that are selectively bred and conditioned to develop traits of eagerness despite the threat of substantive injury. That is who Diego Sanchez is. And we need to look at the way that people respond to being hit, the natural way that we as human beings respond. We are stimulus response animals. And when the stimulus is pain, our response is to disengage. It's an evolutionary defense mechanism that is in all of us. And because it's in us, our species has survived. So when you get hit, you get discouraged from moving forward and your response is to move away. It makes you predictable. It makes you easy to hit and you get feasted upon by pressure fighters. But Diego Sanchez is a whole different beast. He's a whole different animal. He does not have that same defense mechanism. He is not the same kind of stimulus response animal. When you look at the way uh, Diego Sanchez fights, it's all forward motion. The natural response when you're hit, like pressing a hot element, you must pull your hand away. But Diego does not respond to that stimulus. He keeps moving forward. Normal men are discouraged, psychologically discouraged, physically. He keeps moving forward. He moves towards the fire. When he gets dropped, he gets up and moves towards the fire. This is something that's very hard to break down because it's a psychological trait. Watch it the way he expresses himself. Even when backing up, it's just to be able to re-enter and re-enter the fire. We learn to move our head. We learn to back up. We learn to respond. But this alpha beast right here keeps moving forward, keeps moving forward. He's like the leader of our tribe. And when you look at what happens from that, he gets hit. There will be a clash of heads right here, still moving forward. All fight long, Gil was slipping his left, you'll see it here, and drilling him with the right. But he never learned, he was never discouraged. He'll get slipped, he'll get countered to the right, still move forward and land his trademark uppercut. It is his gameness that made that possible. That trademark right uppercut, the gameness staying in the fight, that psychological advantage of being willing and able to stay in the fight made this possible. And why did Gil win this unbelievable fight? Because Gil's got it too. It's in Gil too. And these two would fight to the very end like that. But why are we so excited? Why are we inspired, lit up if you will, when Diego fights this way? Well, when we see this kind of performance, we have a neurological response. When observing this kind of gameness, compassionately watching a fighter like Diego overcome suffering, our vagus nerve actually fires. The vagus nerve is the main nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system and has been implicated in research on feelings of gratitude, appreciation and happiness and the stimulated vagus nerve releases the neurotransmitter norepinephrine into the amygdala which consolidates and strengthens our memories so when we watch diego sanchez fight we biochemically experience gratitude appreciation and joy and these experiences get burned into our memories forever so thank you diego sanchez for your gameness thank you for your excitement thank you for the memories and enjoy the hostilities my friend Robin's Breakdown, brought to you by Fantasy Sports Network, the world's first TV network devoted to fantasy sports content. To order, call your local provider now.